Hi, uh, my name is Darren Golden and I am with Entomo Farms. Uh, Entomo Farms is a uh, alternative protein company and we raise and process insects into a protein powder. And uh, we started our company in 2013 uh, primarily as a protein company. And uh, since then we've been, done a lot of research and there's been a lot of research coming out of academia talking about how incredibly healthy and sustainable crickets are as a source of uh, nutrition for the world. Uh, with our primary uh, operations are here in Norwood, Ontario, which is just outside of Peterborough, um, but we do have a couple other really exciting projects going on in third world countries as well. I've been interested in uh, permaculture and sustainable farming, organic farming, and had a strong interest in environmental issues uh, ever since I was a young teenager. And when I started to research aquaculture, I started to learn about how uh, unsustainable the relationship is between uh, fish farming and the source of feed for those fish. And uh, it was around that time that we did a small study with the Guelph University's Fish uh, Science Nutrition Lab using a different species of insect to see if we could substitute fish meal with insect meal. And that was kind of my first introduction to insects as a source of feed. Um, and then in 2013, the United Nations put out a report um, on uh, feed and food security on a global level, and that report identified insects as a, a real viable alternative to the kinds of proteins that we're used to eating. And uh, at that time, my brothers and I decided that uh, this might be a good uh, business opportunity, uh, as well as an opportunity to, start to do something good in the world. Crickets use one-tenth of the amount of feed that a cow uses, one-fifth of the amount of feed uh, that, a, that a pig uses to create the same amount of protein. Um, water is also a very important part of the story because insects are very efficient uh, users of water. And so um, when you compare those factors, it's, it's very clear that if you took the grain and feedstocks that the planet currently produces and used those to produce insect protein, we could essentially end world hunger. I think probably for me, one of the most significant uh, milestones was actually getting our organic certification because nobody in the world had ever got an insect certified organic before we did. And uh, it was a fairly lengthy process. We had some hurdles along the way, but it was something that was dear to my heart and so uh, something I was really proud of. Um, we first heard about the Innovation Cluster through a competition that they do called Bear's Lair. And we won uh, the competition that year. So uh, it was an incredibly fun and positive experience. And uh, yeah, that was our first contact with them. The process of raising capital or angel investment for a startup is, is you know, very crucial for most people. I mean, most people aren't independently wealthy enough to fund their own company. So uh, for us, it was an interesting process. And of course, we started off with people that we knew with relatively small amounts of money. And as the company started to grow and required more capital for funding it, um, we worked with different groups, in, including Peter Rowe Angel Network and uh, high net worth individuals um, you know, in Toronto and stuff like that. And generally, it was a very positive experience. It's always a little nerve-wracking when you are essentially giving up pieces of, of your baby you know, in order to keep it going, but uh, we really had, have had no bad experiences along our path raising capital. I think uh, my advice to other startups in the food space would be to really keep an open mind, um, to talk to as many people as you possibly can, anybody who's willing to listen and give you advice. Um, take the time to seek out people who you think will give you good advice and, uh, and make sure you're passionate and, and really want to do what you're talking about doing because it's so much fun but it's a, it's a tough road. Um, I think in the next five years we'd like to see an expansion of our production capabilities and I think what we really look forward to, and it seems to be getting closer and closer all the time, is a major food producer stepping into the market and, and creating a product. So up until now, all of our customers have been startups, uh, just like ourselves, and uh, they're doing an incredible job at taking the ingredient and making really tasty products. But the landscape will really change when the first major food producer steps in and, and creates a, a product.
Thanks everybody for watching. Please check out our website, uh, www.entomofarms.com and uh, give cricket powder a try. That is the new face of the future of food. That is good.